Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how to make quick work of a project like this using a couple of different tools uh, that will speed you up. We're going to create a line of symmetry right up the center of this graphic here. Uh, do only half the work and we're going to use a certain type of arc to make this as uh, quick and easy as possible. So uh, for those students of mine, you're going to get this from here. Uh, you're going to have to open this file up and save it to your documents and then import it. Uh, for anybody else, you can find this file as a public document on, on Shape. So I'm um, going to get going. There we go. Here's a Jedi logo, arc and mirror. You'd want to just create your part studio the same way. Right click and rename it to put in a specific name just to stay organized. See, I've got this in here already. My students already know how to do this. For anyone else, just remember to press the spacebar on the keyboard and pause the video so you can keep up. All right, so I'm putting in an image on Sketch 1. Let's actually dimension this thing here. Click, move my mouse away, and click one more time. I'm going to make this a uh, 80 millimeters. And I'm going to finish that sketch and put a new sketch on the top plane to gray out the image behind it and also make it possible to hide the image and see my lines if I make any mistakes. All right, that's a very important part of the process. And then the next important scenario here is give myself a center line. I don't need to be super critical about where I put the center line. I just need to give myself a straight vertical. Uh, this is going to want to keep drawing lines. If you don't know how to deal with the line tool, you can click that line, drag a line, hit escape to finish the section that's not there. I have to right click and hit escape line because my escape key doesn't work when I'm screencasting. All right, but the, um, this is going to actually work perfectly as my line of symmetry. Anywhere from the center of that down should be okay. Might have to extend that later. Um, if you want, it's not a terrible thing to do here. It's not going to hurt. It's just going to take a moment for you to finish up another vertical line. And again, right click and hit escape. You can hit the escape on the keyboard. But what that's going to do is just give us a line to work with as far as symmetry goes. Um, like something like this to start off with. It's going to be very simple with straight lines, but I'm only drawing half of the design. Um, I'm not being super picky about it. and escape that. All right, now my next tool I'm going to go for is going to be at the bottom of the arc menu. So you got to drop this down, hit the conic arc, and we're going to see if this works. Not always will we get the right kind of bend that we're looking for with this tool, but we should be able to you know, nail it. So you just pull that conic arc into shape, click. We're going to use it all the way around here. End point, end point, pull. And point. You will have to be careful with the design like this to make sure you don't overlap any lines as you're drawing them. In other words, you don't want like a loop in here by accident. You have to escape that to pull this thing into position. See, in using this tool, as I'm trying to go quickly here, I don't even need to hit enter to get that finished measurement. If I just start up a new design, it's going to keep just assuming that's what I want. And um, this, we'll see if this works. Valamara, your bus is waiting out front. Valamara, your transportation is waiting out front. All right. Now, if I did everything right and I hide this back image here, you can see that I've got my gray inside the full shape. 
and white on the outside, which means this is all completed properly. I can turn that back on um, and just use the, uh, oh, actually it's probably going to be better off to do this with this off and the mirror tool is right up here. I'm selecting my mirror line, which is this center line here, anywhere on it. And then the entities to be mirrored. You can do this one by one. Or you can drag and highlight the things that you need to select. You can see it shuts some of them off because of uh, where I select it and I can continue to go back and pick the right scenario here for myself. Yeah, I can pick the right part that I missed there. But with that shape as is, you should be able to then just hit extrude. Change it to something like six millimeters. I've got my design there. I'm going to turn this back on. Double click sketch two to activate it, and I'm just going to finish up the last parts of the design here and show you what we would do to get it really complete. The best tool for tracing something like these circles on the outside is going to be the uh, three point circle tool. So, any three points that you click on a circle, you can uh, then get that recreation of that circle. So, I'm just going to go here, two, and then anywhere else. And then I can should be able to offset that circle if I want to make another one. Rather than doing another three-point circle, I can click the offset. It's going to go outward. In this case, I need to pull it inwards and just drop it right where I want it to be. So yes, you could put another circle in there, but this assures that they're matching. Um, the extrude updated, and it didn't include the internal part. What you do is just double-click that extrude and then select whatever regions wasn't including and leave it as is. Uh, if you want to get extraordinary, you can put a backing plate on this thing to keep it all together with a new sketch. Sketch on the top plane, put something like a box around it. And I screw that in the opposite direction. What's going to happen is it's going to want to come towards you, and in the menu here, you want to have it flipped away, solid, a new separate piece. So it comes up as part three down here, and keep it somewhere around six millimeters. And uh, what that just enables is you can select like two parts together here, change the appearance, edit appearance for two parts, make that something like a black, and then right click part three, edit appearance, and make that some sort of gray. And to clean it up, you take everything that you might have visible here, like these planes, the arc and point, and even sketch one is back on. You can see a design like that comes together really pretty quickly. Um, little post-production things, you can go back in here and take the sketch and even it up. You don't need to put any measurements on it. Uh, if something goes wrong and it's not moving for you, you can just delete it and start over again. Uh, and then finally, you can take a tool like this chamfer tool and click on these edges. And if it's too big and interferes, you can see like I just have a beveled edge there. Uh, it's going four millimeters in. It usually starts off with five, and whatever number you put in, it's going to hold on to. But you can change this to like a three millimeter or whatever you need to do to reduce the size of that so it works for you. But that's a nice way to clean and design up a little bit. There's the Jedi logo.